dead and five others hurt after a building collapsed in East Baltimore. This happened during a police chase. WMAR 2 News' Brittany Verner went back to the intersection where it happened and spoke with people who saw it happen. Brittany. Police were chasing a stolen vehicle through this residential neighborhood. That vehicle then crashed into another vehicle, and they both crashed into this building, causing this destruction and killing an innocent bystander. A double boom, a lot of noise, frightening, because both vehicles hit very hard and a bunch of bricks begin to fall. David Wright was watching TV before he heard the crash that caused the building to collapse around 9 Wednesday evening right on the corner of East North Avenue and North Wolf Street. I thought something blew up in the neighborhood. And I ran outside and everything was dusty and dirty and hard to see and people screaming. Baltimore City Police say after spotting a stolen vehicle, they tried to approach the driver. He took off and it led to a chase. That's when the driver crashed into another car and they both crashed into a vacant building. This was a restaurant called North Star. It was pretty good for the community. It had been abandoned for a long time. That crash caused the building to collapse, killing 54-year-old Alfred Fincher and injuring five others who were inside those vehicles. Two people were in the stolen vehicle and three people were in the other one they crashed into. And I seen an officer carry a woman swiftly from all of the debris and dirt and all to the other side of the street in his arms and lay her down and run back and continue to help. They were very diligent, teamwork, Focus. Police arrested 33-year-old Sean Lee Brunson. So far, he's being charged with stealing a vehicle. Those five people sent to the hospital have been released, and this incident remains under investigation. What is really sad, nobody wants no one to die and, and people being injured and loved ones, and especially someone innocent, have nothing to do with it. Right now, it's unclear when the last inspection was done on this building. We're working to get that answered and still no update concerning those five people who were injured. Brittany Verner, WMAR 2 News.